I'm a big advocate on making things in this country and stop importing everything that we have to have to survive on a daily basis. It's not whether we're going to have a food crisis. It's basically how large that crisis will be. You know what I'm saying? And when it's actually going to hit. Now, what I have to tell you is you have to make sure that you are basically realizing the fact that it is so important for people to be prepped and ready, especially coming into the fall of this year, into the next winter. We have to have this year in America, just America, okay? We have to have one of the best yielding, producing harvests that we've ever had. Now, that's by far a crapshoot, if you want to put it that way. Because think about it, we have to make sure that there's, we're going to be short on fertilizer. So wh whatever farmers don't get the fertilizer, their crop yield is already going to be 40% less. We still have to figure out and deal with whatever is going to be coming weather-wise. We have droughts that have been going on. It, the weather this year has just been crazy. We have probably a 90 day supply of a lot of foods in this country as far as what can supply to grocery stores without anything coming in. There are some countries that are already starting to cut off what they are allowing to come out of their countries. The biggest problem is wheat. A, a, it's a pantry staple, okay? I mean, you, you have to have wheat, all right? Supplies from Russia and Ukraine, which together account for almost 30% of the global trade market. Now, I've already talked about this in videos and everything else, but they're at risk now because you're taking 30% out of the whole equation. Another major problem that we have, which I've mentioned, is access to fertilizer. Uh, companies to produce more, but it, this is a time-consuming process and it's not something that can just like flip a switch and, oh, you got another 100 tons of this stuff. It doesn't work that way. These Companies either have to expand their plants, build new plants, or whatever they have to do to try to make sure that we're doing it all here. And it all falls back on my huge thing that I'm really big on is if we'd make the stuff in America, we wouldn't be in this boat. If we would go back to making things in this country, we would not be in this boat we are in right now. We just don't have access to the fertilizer that we need, it's all a ripple effect. It all starts at the top and ripples down through, you know? I mean, it's just what it is. And it's essential for farmers to hit their productions this year for fertilizer than it is right now. And a lot of farmers are feeling a crunch. And in my opinion, we should build our own companies here to make our own so we don't care. Natural gas is the key ingredient to making your, your nitrogen based fertilizers all right so you need that natural gas in a lot of countries that price has spiked and which is putting the whole global market in restraints the situation basically is i mean it's it's ringing alarm bells all over the globe all right i mean every country right now is like freaking out folks uh they they don't know what to do they don't know what their plan of action is going to be um they're looking, you know, the, the cost of corn, soybeans, and vegetable oils have been jumping. You know, I mean, they've been just going up and up and up. Many of the countries are fearing the, the, the shortages and are already turning inward, which means they're not exporting, which could ultimately leave less food for those that are really in need. There are a lot of countries that rely on a lot of the other bigger countries to help them out with their food crisis that they already have, like Africa. Egypt just banned the export of wheat, flour, lentils, and beans amid the growing concerns over the food reserves in the Arab world's most populous state. And then you have Indonesia, has also tightened export restrictions on palm oil. Now, a lot of you people out there may not know, but palm oil is 
in a lot of things. It's in a component in most cooking oil, and it's also in cosmetics and a lot of packaged goods like um, chocolates and those type of things. You know, Indonesia is really the, the world's top producer of the palm oil. And that's where palm oil really comes from is Indonesia. We're hitting with the high prices. Let's just face it, folks. I mean, you go to the store now and you're spending an extra hundred bucks right now a week, not to mention the extra gas that it's costing you to go to those stores. And, you know, the higher the gas prices, now you're factoring in the fact that, okay, how far do I have to drive to the stores? How far, you know, is at home? How many stores do I have to go to? Because not only are you paying more in the grocery store, but you're paying more just to get to the grocery store. You know, the, the situation is posed to deteriorate further. I mean, it's, it's, I hate to be the bearer of bad news here, folks, but the uh, outlook on this isn't good, especially coming into fall and winter of this year. And that is going to be a, a very trying time for a lot of people in this world. The number of people on the edge of famine right now has jumped to 44 million people from 27 million in 2019 why it is so important for all of you to sit back and really take a good look at what you have, what you need, what is important, and what isn't. You will be prepared when the um, shit hits the fan. Uh, let's just face it, folks. And there's a lot of people that are in denial. They don't think that there's anything wrong. They don't, you know, they don't see any shortages in their area. They don't, um, they don't see any of this kind of stuff. So they don't believe that anything's happening, which, you know, I mean, if you're not, if you don't have shortages in your own area, then, you know, that's, that's a great thing, but it's only a matter of time, folks. All right. With the way we're going, it's only a matter of time until something is really, really drastically going to happen. And if you are not prepared, if you're not ready, if you haven't been putting away some type of a reserve stockpile of food and supplies, you're going to be hurting. I want to make sure that the people of this community, the people that are watching this video, because I have a lot of people that watch the videos but haven't subscribed. But I really wish that you would hit the subscribe button just on the fact that it is so important for you to have information and videos that you can fall back on if you have questions. And this is such a great community that these people will help you out. I believe that a lot of people are starting to wake up to the fact that there is something wrong in this world. There's something wrong in this country. And people are searching out information on what they can do to be prepared for their families. Because we're all in this together. <music>